Well, hello there, everyone. You have right here. I'm talking about that. You know, for uh, you, know, you know, for the portfolio, your know, picture right here, and uh, you see right here will be example right here of me right here, and I have this painting right here that I use for like let's say like a like a background for a background screensaver, and I know that a uh, well, few of us who may have seen uh, quite a few of my designs, you know, talking about the the basics right here of. Uh, have right here you know, with this design right here to where you know, who would really buy uh, some uh, of the designing work of you know for anybody that uh, really though that uh, you know really that you know any uh, good examples of maybe what you have what a professional designer you know, would have or anything in particular so far as their earlier source of education or something like that but you see right here that I went and put together right here as a drawing right here we see right here is a, a drawing right here of me and I would had a and went back and you know, edited a little bit more of this right here. I have right here's for Planet Earth right here. And you have right here's for July 20th of 2020 right here. So like what I was talking about earlier. That that, that was like say. It's supposed to be like like a calendar design right there. And I know that. Um, as I say that yeah. You know for if it's supposed to be like maybe for a calendar design. Or just uh, something to re you know, remember by. Or if it's uh, anything in particular. So far as uh, you know. Learning the experience or just getting to know the, the work a little bit more, you know, you know that sort of thing. But you have right here is that planet Earth right here, and I know that this right here was supposed to be like a you know like a homework assignment, and uh, well, no, just a little bit too, to where it looks a little bit you know more confusing because it looks like that uh, that I just uh, cut a, a round shape. I'm like, yeah, that uh, you know, planet Earth right there, and it looks a little bit confusing. And let's just say that if I would. If it, if it was supposed to be related to like a social studies type assignment, and everybody will warrant to where to hey that uh, that you know you we can't really see the the continent that you you know the we can't see the continent Europe in there, or we can't see North America, South America, or Australia, or you know your parts of a uh, uh, of a uh, part you know parts of Greenland or you know anywhere like that. But um, but what I did include on there are the views from space, and I guess uh, the subject matter, I guess, would kind of like be like, I kept thinking too, do I want to and, uh, use like what you call your know, map as an example, or that, uh, you know, maybe satellites, and uh, and like the type of satellites I'm talking about will be the type of satellites that uh, where you, know, you would be able to, uh, you know, look at that certain, uh, like, yeah, you know, look at certain images of, of the planet, and then of course, uh, you know of our galaxy but um but talk about right here for the future though mainly for the future so i know whenever we all look at this right here that we're gonna maybe think necessarily to where okay uh you have right here is me right here sitting on a, the rocking chair like if i was actually sitting at a desk right here and let's just say that if planet earth right here would be like like a source of a subject title so a subject title, and then let's just say if there was like a subtitle and an abbreviation or author's name and all that involved. But still, that uh, that right here, that um, it looks a little bit more confusing. Uh, you say, you know, like half here for planet Earth right here. Exactly what exactly does all that mean? So it seems like a lot of time. So whatever, you're going to be uh, putting together a masterpiece project right here. A lot of times it seems like um, that it requires... A student you know write a paper about it and uh it's like yeah you write a paper about it and then uh after you write the paper and then it uh, talks about you know hey that about the introduction and then uh as well i'm like yeah, yeah write a paper by explaining a little bit more of uh, what i was working with right there but you have right here you have right here for portfolio is born you have right here for web uh, world wide web right here so a lot of the stuff that I guess you say was put together like on a poster right here display, a poster display. And I was mainly marking this for, uh, yeah, for my, my birthday. But let's just say that, uh, that you know, I use this right here as like a source of a, a screensaver, but uh, on my uh, desktop display. But still, I have right here for July 20th of 2020 right here. And, uh, and I know that um, for 2020, so let's just say... If somebody were to ask me that, uh, like I was mentioning before, if somebody were to ask me that, uh, you know, why would anybody uh, want to buy any of your work, any of your illustrations, any of your paintings, you know, any uh, source of Photoshop skills, 
or anything related to like any sort of graphic design. You know, who would really buy uh, any sort of masterpiece or something? But let's say that um, just to follow up a little bit more of uh, of the work that I put together, and uh, I guess you know for any reason at all that maybe that you know whenever you're going to be going out shopping a lot of times it seems that way to where that you know yeah that you know, whenever you go out shopping and it seems like a lot of times uh, hey that um that you see something that really approaches your mind or if you're familiar with that maybe that designer or that source of work and uh so it seems like that uh you know goes by the question to where that hey that uh you know why would anybody uh really want to buy you know some of your artwork or to say that uh at this rate, if if it was like a maybe anything which called like a contest or some sort, but um, but I use right this right here as an example right here of uh, whenever I was very young right here. So I know that uh, when we're very young, we want to have all sorts of kinds of attention. But let's just say at the topic was that whenever I was very young, that a lot of my artwork would really impress everyone. So I guess I could use that as like a topic to where that you know, like say anything that you want to mention to the world about what you do and you know that's sort of saying as well as you know anything about poem or poetry or something like that. But still though that uh, whenever I think about yeah about Earth right here, whenever you're young, that uh, you know a lot of things that you uh, are that a lot to do back whenever you're young. One of those um. Yeah, you know, as I say, a lot of things that you're not able to do because either you're not old enough, not mature enough, you know, that source of, of saying, and uh, and that, that is why that uh, whenever we're young, that uh, we want to think of, uh, you know, we we want to do stuff and think of things that we that we've been wanting to do, and uh, so let's just say one of them could be is to uh, write in a paper or two um, about something that uh, we look forward to doing in the future. So it seems like a lot of times, though, that uh, with uh, a lot of uh, other work, you know, as well, that they have right here for uh, my name right here. And uh, so let's just say that, um, that yeah, that uh, somebody is not going to want to buy the painting just because maybe if it's not signed or maybe if it don't really make any sense. But you have right here for a future is born, uh, you know, for, for a portfolio, for a portfolio is born and you have right here. You mention about your know, future is born, and then you have right here for World Wide Web right here. And uh, so the way I think about it too is that uh, that for being a a graphic artist, it seems like that you want to think of something very creative, and if that something creative is really going to approach anybody, that then it seems like a lot of times it goes by and they ask the questions. But we see right here is Planet Earth right here. Whenever I was painting this using Photoshop. I noticed that there are some, uh, you know, some areas right here, you know, planet Earth right here. It looks like one area looks like the where a storm's going to be developed. Like, yeah, you know, satellite images, you know, whenever I was working on this, I was mainly thinking about, okay, uh, that right there is supposed to be like for planet Earth right there for like, you know, for satellite images. But still, though, that, uh, if we're talking about the National Geographic images, then um, like we wanted to where at that right there is supposed to be uh Earth uh, that is supposed to be a uh, you know from space. So if we're talking about images from space, like from NASA, then uh, half the time that there might be some things that that are broadly visible. But still, well, what are you going to tell uh, a, a lot of your audiences, and you know, likely one or two that you know the reasons why that they would want to buy your work, and uh, maybe just to kind of keep that on, like say for a masterpiece. You know, as I say, whenever I graduate. Then it's possible, or whenever I succeed to the next uh, to the next level in the source of education, then someone is going to want to buy uh, some of that work. But still, that uh, I know that uh, that that's something that um, I was like thinking too, is to where somebody's going to ask the question and like you know yeah that uh, who would want to buy uh, any of your work you know and maybe if somebody who used to be one of your classmates or something like that. <laughs> Like I say that, yeah, whenever you get paid an allowance, and why well, know just a little bit of that too, to where that, you know, if you know anybody uh, who uh, you know, wants to buy, uh, you know, some of uh, some you work, whatever it is, but still, but, um, they have right here, I talk about for the future right here. So I guess it seems like that you have to, if any of this work is going to be going up for marketing, then at half the time, it seems like it's all about to where that you, that you go ahead and uh, 
and do some of that artwork right there and then uh, paint it like it's you know supposed to be talking about for the future there. But you have right here, you go ahead and select the layer right there from your know, Photoshop. But you know, anyway, I um, whenever I was working on this, mainly that it was supposed to be right here whenever I was young. And uh, whenever I uh, was, uh, those couple of years ago, whenever I would uh, be working on a lot of paintings using Microsoft Paint, that uh, I uh, would uh, be working with the paint tools, but then also that it was mainly just me, uh, you know, using uh, the computers at the school a lot of times. So a lot of those teachers were pretty impressed with the artwork, but then it still, it uh, saved on a floppy disk, but not all the time. You say that, yeah, well, yeah, a lot of that artwork would never really uh, made it to the art galleries or whatever, but uh, still, though, that uh, something to impress the world, you know. <laughs> and uh, I guess uh, you can say is to word it, you know, really, what the, what's something that maybe that you can do, uh, you know, to impress the world, and one of those would also be about is to word that you know, you got a good source of education. The other one could also be about you know, you discovered that. Uh, something that, that people find meaningful of the whole process and that uh, you know the other thing that could also be about is that uh that yeah that uh you know anything uh related to from a uh, you know the amount of accomplishments you know accomplishments also but you see right here whenever i was very young of course that uh you know yeah that uh just like anybody any young kid uh, Maybe playing with you know the Lego sets or something like that with the Lincoln logs that uh, you think about as to where you want to go ahead and draw something freehand and then maybe draw you know a picture of whenever you were very young, <laughs> back whenever you were very young that you were just trying to learn the basics about you know how to use the remote control to the television set and then until you were introduced to a few of these tools using programs like Photoshop. But but you have right here that um, with this right here. That in case if somebody were to ask me that, that you know, why would anybody want to want to buy you know any of my work and uh, I I kept thinking too that you know for whoever that wants answers to uh, something and uh, so yeah you know who for whoever wants answers you know to for the you know the, for the truth of the matter and uh, I guess you could say that you know answers to what well I mean by is that whenever somebody buys some of the work and then that maybe that uh, they would be able to uh, have a better understanding a little bit I'm like yeah that um they buy the work and then maybe they can they can have a you know, keep a copy maybe for for reference and then maybe that that they would be able to look at the work carefully maybe before they ask the questions or if they just want to ask you know just uh just because that uh, they came across the work and then uh, they just want to click and you know, they just want to need some additional information but the way i think about it too that you know any answers that uh, that anybody would have for me about this painting right here is mainly the subject right here, and uh, you know, other than the Earth right here is this right here. That uh, really though, back whenever I was very young, back whenever I was just a baby though, that a lot of times it seems like that you know, you want all the attention that you wanted uh, back whenever you were very young. But a lot of the stuff that maybe not everybody can see that you're working on. And uh, and I know it seems like that that's a little bit of the truth of the matter. That whenever everybody has a better understanding of what I was working on, then chances are that they're going to go ahead and say that I would like to buy a, a copy of this. And so it's like, yeah. So really, though, how can we really speak the truth of the matter? But still, whenever you start giving out answers, it seems like whenever you start giving answers and even if it's maybe 15 years later you start to explaining more of the story and giving out uh, you know a few of the answers that to a few of the things that um that people find uh, approach or you work a little bit more but but still though that if this right here was supposed to be an example right here of like a calendar design of some sort then then it's like say yeah that uh it came across to a lot of people who uh, look at the artwork and Want to know just a little bit too that your know, portfolio is born in the World Wide Web right there, and uh, exactly what does all this mean? And so it's like it's kind of hard to really understand. But what I was mainly putting together right here is mainly about to where that you know for a lot of the things that I wanted to do back whenever I was young, it's like that you would just speak up and uh, for 
you know, in front of a, a group of people and you want know, to give a speech to anybody. And I say, well, yeah, really, who would want to buy your work? Well, anybody who wanted answers, huh, to what I do. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.